going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So what we got going on today, but first I want to give a big shout out to 11 Charlie RC. So if you don't know him, you need to know him. He's an awesome guy and definitely he's got my respect. 11 Charlie RC did send me some stickers and a little pennant. So I was like, hey man, you got any stickers? And I actually got a couple of shirts from him as well. But uh, I was hoping for some camo shirts. So if you're listening, man, definitely with, you know, we've got a, a Teespring or whatnot. We need some camo shirts for sure. So I was like, ah, oh, I'd really like to have a camo shirt. Anyway, he's got these 11 Charlie hologram stickers as well, so I got a perfect vehicle for this. Hopefully you, you'll approve it as well as far as me slapping those stickers on there. But big respect to you. Um, so uh, he did write me a letter as well. He says, thank you for the support, Joe, brother. Uh, you have an awesome channel. Uh, stay safe. Uh, Javier, 11 Charlie RC. So hopefully I said that all correctly. Definitely appreciate it, man. So without further ado, like I said, I got I got spots for these stickers. All right, so here it is. So you guys can see a little bit better too. The GS01 chassis, four-wheel drive, ready to run. So I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get one of these from us, omgrc.com. Anyway, let's go ahead. As far as so, there's different options, but as far as the ones that we sell on the website, they would be the military green, and also it does come in a kit form as well. So if just in case you don't want any electronics, you can opt for that one as well. So receiver, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing out of the box so you guys can check it all out because that's pretty much the end of the box information right there. So yeah, let's get this thing cracked open. All right, so let's take a look as far as we got the radio. So there we go, Fly Sky. It's just like the uh, Red Cat stuff anyhow. All right, so all same as far as when it comes to that steering trim, throttle trim, steering dual rate. You got your on and off switch right down there, LED indicators. And then your reverse settings, your binding button, all that good stuff. Rubber grip, nice. I'm used to it as far as this radio, so I don't mind it. I think these are actually pretty decent radios. Other than as far as the grip, it would be nice if it was rubber, but no, no big complaints on that one. Information on the actual radio itself, so if you want to check that all out, there you go. And again, four double A's at the bottom. Yes, it's made in China, just in case you didn't know. But there you go, as far as four double A's on that one. So cool. All right, you do get some greases or bonus grease, I guess. I'm not sure. It seems like it would have already come with it, so I'll have to read over the instructions anyhow, just like you guys should do if you get one of them as well. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description below. So big zip ties in there, shock grease, some more grease in there, gear grease, so probably need to tear it apart and actually get that thing lubed up. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Uh, instructions, also this, so if you wanna put like a different servo in it, Looks like it comes with different servo horns for it as well. So pretty nice, a little added bonus. Now, um, these were in the bag, but I've already kind of added on the accessories, so you'll see it as it kind of looks like in the description here. Anyway, all the instructions. Now this thing, because this is just going over the vehicle itself, as far as the electronics and everything like that, your setups that you can do, or at least how the radio works, um, steering information, so check that all out. What I was getting to is, well, the stickers are cool. So pretty nice. Police, SWAT, Army, nice. Even has the guns over there as well. It's hard to see them in white, but go on, get the whole alphabet. So depending on what you want to do with all that stuff. So really nice. That's cool. Thank you, g -Made. Instruction manual. This thing is designed to be a kit manual. So it is a kit manual. So that way you can, if you forget how to put this thing together, well, you're going to know how to put it back together because they give you step-by-step -step instructions like you were building it because this does come in a kit form as well. So nice. So they say, hey, you need to grease these things up. There you go. Boom. You can, you'll know how to grease everything up. So really nice, intuitive, like it, do's and don'ts, you know, all that good fun stuff. So check that out. Lots of uh, stickers that you got to cut out. Not a big fan of cutting out the stickers other than just peeling them off the page and then slapping them on. I'm cool with that. But yeah, these, unfortunately, you're gonna have to bust out the knife or scissors and cut it all out. Anybody wanna do that for me <laughs> as far as? All right, now on to the actual vehicle itself. Go ahead and put this aside. Dun, da, da, da. Yep, put 11 Charlie sticker right on there already. So it's looking pretty good, man. Hope you guys, hope you like that, man. Um, I like it, looks cool. I didn't, again, I didn't have the stickers in there, but I had to add on the little steering wheel, your little side mirror that's here. You have to screw, screw down the seats. And just kind of give you an idea too. Here's a one, this is gonna be like a one tenth. This is a Rambo or from Rambo. So 
he looks so small he's like a little child next to the actual truck the jeep you know jeeps aren't very big either so there you go so that's why i said you're gonna need like a 1 12th scale or i'm sorry you're gonna need a 12 inch um guy if you want to put somebody in there because this is probably like what seven inches something around there i guess something like that i'm not 100 percent sure but 10th scale is what i figured these guys are at so uh yeah you even got a little the shifter in there so really cool like again these are all screwed down you do have a spot here you need to put like a gun on the back of it or something and let's go to war <laughs> anyway um this thing uh, as far as the windshield too it does fold down it does come with again these are all the little body clips here so that way you can you can notice like right here you can clip this thing down you do have to kind of push it forward a little bit make it work but it does have a little lexan what have you that's clear i did have to uh, remove plastic on there the plastic film so it protected it from not getting all scratched up so let's get a front view of this thing as well i think it looks pretty awesome man uh, i'm just not a big fan of chrome but i'm like i'm okay with it even though this it doesn't really flow with this body so much like it'd be nice if it was just kind of like black but um i've seen people paint them all up and stuff like that too so this is not a new vehicle as far as when it's been out for a while anyhow i think i've seen it from like 2016 but it is a pretty awesome vehicle anyhow a jeep man how cool is it i think it's awesome and it's got leaf springs in it too nonetheless and you're like what the heck if some of you guys are like i don't know what leaf springs are let me go ahead and roll it over here actually you can kind of see it there too so instead of having shocks exactly see i kind of pointed out for you guys some of, some of you guys so that's the leaf spring that's going right here to this part. So that's how the shock works. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll take this body off here. I'm gonna get it more exposed anyway. But let me give you just a, the back view of it anyhow. <laughs> it looks pretty cool, I like it. There's the other view. Yep, got the other sticker on the other side, bro. So representing. That's definitely not the engine replica of what the Jeep would have come with. It was like a four banger that was probably in there or something like that. Not 100% sure, but uh, yeah, it didn't have that type of engine cover for sure. Does come with a, uh, let's see what we got here. 27 turn brushed motor that's in there. Got the G made sticker slapped on it. It is capable of a two or three S LiPo. Go ahead and show you that electronic speed controller here. Does say it. So two or three S LiPo, or you can run it on a nickel metal hydride battery. And this is the, the spot where you put your battery in. Um, I don't know what size, as far as the servo, when it comes to, you know, the kilogram, how, how potent this thing might be or not. But I'm not a big fan of turning the servo without it actually doing it itself. So, um, so yes. And as far as like some people are like, well, what, it, what is it set to now? So you'll probably need to take this cover off anyway, because there are jumpers. It's super hard to see it right now. It is in there, there's jumpers, so you can move it from what they show you here on the little diagram. So where it says, oh, drag, yes. Well, I'm showing here and then here for the lipo. Anyhow, it's not really focusing as well as I want. Okay, so anyway, there you go for lipo or nickel. I'm assuming right now it's probably gonna be on nickel. But to be on the safe side, definitely wanna take this cover off of here and uh, make sure what it's set to. And then you have your little on and off switch that's there. So pretty nice rig. Again, there's your leaf springs. You can see it in its all its glory. Old school style. But um, this is a GS1 chassis and you could change these things out. If you don't want the leaf springs in there, you could, I'm sure you could come up with a way to make that work. But if you did get rid of the leaf springs, then you pretty much, how are you gonna have it connected? You have to get um, linkages and all that good fun stuff to convert this over. So, but it's sharing the same chassis as from my GS02 over here. Wow, wow, it's really, you know, having a hard time focusing. Anyway, I'll do like another video. I can, if you guys are interested in it, I'll do like a side-by-side -side comparison of the GS01 chassis and the GS02 chassis. Um, just so you guys can kind of see it all anyway, but yes. Um, yeah, tell me what you think about this thing. Oh, another thing, tires, not beadlock, bummer. I know, uh, G made man, kind of feel like you missed the mark on that one. I think beadlocks would have been ideal for this thing too. Um, and also if you look in the, inst the instructions, look at those, those rims, man. We didn't get those rims. We got these, these rims are off the same 
I don't have them right. Oh, let me sh let's see. So, GS02, <laughs> pretty much, yeah, same, same, as far as the rims go. Tires are different, but the rims are the same. Wow, you're having a hard time. All right, so there you go. Yep, even says G made. There you go. But yeah, these are, it's funny, these are just a, a little bit, nah, maybe up to about the same, but a little bit bigger, a little bit, probably more grip on the, uh, I think of the Komodo. So that's the guy up there that you're seeing, Komodo. My finger doesn't have a face on it, it's focus on the other stuff. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget, again, like, comment, subscribe, check us out again at omgrc.com. You know the drill, and sign up for our newsletter. Just go down to the bottom of our website, check it out. Anyway, it says newsletter. See you. Thank you for watching.